And now, if enemy collides with turret, destroy turret. And set its ammo to zero. But if enemy collides with city, set city invisible. Then go back here, and if the turret is overlapping dummy, set dummy target to false, because it has already been destroyed. And as a sub event, if ammo's order is the same that the turret that has just been destroyed, Also destroy and destroy the enemy too. Do the same with the city collision. And if enemy collides with dummy, also destroy. Let's lower the speed here a little. And also let's spawn a very nice explosion when the collision occurs. Do the same with the three collisions. And also on the start of layout, set target to true on the city only if the city is visible. And now, if the explosion collides with enemy and explosion source is player, destroy the enemy. And okay, to repeat the spawning, the enemy spawning, just add an on every choose three or four seconds, call the function fire missile.
Now add a global variable enemy missiles to, get tra to keep track of how many enemies are being spawned and set it to 15. Just remember that whatever value you put here should never be higher than the maximum missiles you have, which is 30. In the fire missile functions, subtract 1 from enemy missiles every time we spawn one, and also Check first if enemy missiles is greater than zero, then do the fighting. Also, five is too much here. And check the value enemy missiles before calling the function to. Now reduce the speed of the enemy Set it to 50 I'm noticing something weird with a collision. Another thing we should never forget is to check for the collision volumes. 